Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to calculate moving average dynamically in Microsoft Excel. First of all, I'll show you the manual process of calculating the moving average. Let's say we want to calculate the moving average of two interval. We use this bit. We will use this value plus this value and then we will divide it by two because we are calculating for two interval. Okay, then here we will repeat the same process and we will this value plus this value and then we will divide it by 2. We will not calculate the moving average for the first one because we are calculating for the two interval. So we will take two value together. We cannot calculate for the first value. Similarly, when we will calculate for the three values, then we will take three value and we will start the moving average from here. You can use the average function also. Let's say we want to calculate for the three interval, then we can use here average and we can select this range. Okay, so we are taking three values together and then we can fill this down. So here you can see in the next it is taking the next three and here it is taking the next three. If you want to make this process dynamic like if we will change the value here let's say we are taking four then automatically this formula should be changed and it should calculate for the four interval. So we can make it dynamic also this C3 we will consider as the interval okay and just enter. So if I will type anywhere interval this one I will get the value of moving average interval. All right. How we will decide we should take the range of these three or these four. We will use the offset function to, to create the dynamic range. Let me show you the offset function first. If I will use the offset here offset and select the reference this one and we will ignore the rows and column because we want to get the height here. We will create the vertical range. Okay. If I will put here let's say 4 and enter so you can see it is taking the 4 values from this reference okay. If I will put here 2 then it is taking 2 values but we need it in the opposite direction. So what we can do we can use 2 multiply minus 1 okay. So it is taking this cell and this cell. So that means in place of 2 we can use the interval this one. So automatically it is taking the 4 in the opposite direction. If I will use this formula in this cell and I am using offset and this cell and I am using here height, height, interval, multiply, minus 1. Then here you can see it is taking 55 till 84 which is this one 55 till 84. So we can take the average of this here in this cell. Okay, so let's use this function here average inside the average we will use the offset function and select this reference comma comma and in the height we can use interval which is this cell multiply we can use minus 1 here and just hit the enter. We are getting here 26. Let's fill this down here it is taking only for this cell and here it is taking for these two cell and for this one it is taking for these three cells you can see and for this one it is taking this cell so we are taking four interval it should start from here so what we can do we can use here another formula if count a and select this cell and press colon so this is b6 to b6 freeze first v6 press f4 and just close the bracket and if it is less than interval is less than 4 in this case then it should return blank else it should put this formula just hit the enter now it is returning blank if i will fill this down you can see it is starting from row number 4 we can fill this down till the end if i will put here 5 it is taking 5 interval if i will put here 2 it is taking 2 interval so this is dynamic now so friends that is how you can use the moving average formula. You can add one spin button if you want. So you can go to the developer tab insert and let's insert a form control spin button here. Let's put this here. Right click go to the format control and here put the minimum value as 2. Maximum value let's put here 10 and you can decide whatever you want and cell link let's link with the cell click on ok. Now you can increase the interval from here or decrease the interval from here. The moving average value will be changed automatically. Alright friends, 
Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.